Position of Metals in Periodic Table In order to know more about metals and non-metals, it is essential to know the modern periodic table. The elements in the table are arranged in certain rows and columns according to their properties. The rows are called periods and the columns are called groups. The elements of the first group except hydrogen are called alkali metals. They are alkaline in nature because they react with water to form concentrated base. The second group elements of the periodic table are called alkaline art metals. The oxides of these metals are soluble in water and are found in nature. The elements of the third to the eleventh group are called transition metals. The compounds of these elements are colorful and attractive. The elements which lie between metals and non-metals are called metalloids. These metalloids show the properties of both metals and non-metals. These elements of group 14 to 17 are called non-metals. Out of which group 17 elements are called halogens. Group 18 elements are called noble gas. These gases are less reactive because the electrons in their outermost shell are complete. Now students, you must have noticed two separate rows at the bottom of the periodic table. The first row elements are called lanthanides and the second row elements are called actinides. This was a brief introduction of the modern periodic table. Now let us observe the metals of periodic table. Some of these metals are highly reactive, some are less reactive, and some are medium reactive. Hope you have understood something about the position of metals in the periodic table. In the next content, we will discuss about the physical and chemical properties of metals. Mm -hmm.